Now, one of the big issues that we're seeing right here on, on the state level as the legislature has gotten back into session is uh, the governor has floated a, a $541 million tax increase, and it kind of surprised a lot of people with that. Now, from your perspective, uh, I mean, the federal level, deeply engaged in a lot of the economic development projects that have come into the state over the years. I know that that you had established a relationship with the executives of Airbus, for instance, years before they ultimately came into Alabama with the the major uh, economic development projects that they did down there. So you've been deeply engaged on all levels with uh, these these major economic development products that we've had so much success with. And I find that it seems to be the pitch to these folks is come to Alabama. You're going to get a, a low tax, low regulatory environment. We are open for business, essentially. Do you have any concerns that uh, that the governor kind of switching directions and suddenly deciding to, to float such a giant tax increase that that will deter economic development on some level? Well, I don't think it's going to help any. Uh, uh, I can tell you from my experience in the state government, once upon a time I was in the state Senate and being in Congress, the House and the U.S. Senate, that the spending will always uh, run ahead of the revenue. Uh, so it's not going, you'll never have enough taxes or enough money to pay for the programs that are already on the books, either federal or state. So uh, taxing is not the answer to it. Uh, somebody, it might be a temporary answer to it, but uh, people are, are, are very alert to taxes, and they should be because ultimately everybody's going to pay them. You know, you hear the old story, we're going to tax the banks, we're going to tax the utilities, we're going to tax cor- the corporate world. Well, all that's going to be passed on to all of us, right. the consumer. People are smarter than you think. 